Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really interesting 27 inch 4K monitor. I've taken a look at some of their portable monitors in the past, but this one's known as the 27P1U Pro. And what makes this really interesting is it actually supports touch and an active pen. So 10 points of touch. It's also a quantum dot IPS coming in at a 4K resolution. It's got a pop-up 8 megapixel camera and some people may be really interested in that. But the main reason I wanted to get my hands on this was obviously it's a huge touch screen. And the display itself looks great because we've got that 4K resolution, 99% DCI P3, 8-bit FRC. It does support USB Type-C video in and 65 watt PD charging out which makes it great for connecting mobile devices with video out, like uh, Samsung devices with Samsung DeX. A lot of other manufacturers are doing it. You can even connect an iPad to this. It's also 100% sRGB, 99% Adobe RGB, and the stand that comes included will tilt 5 degrees forward or 60 degrees back. So you can actually set this up as kind of a drawing tablet if you wanted to. Inside of the box, we actually get quite a few extras, USB cable, USB Type-C, which supports video and power, a DisplayPort cable, and a pressure-sensitive pen, so you can draw with this thing right out of the box. Setup with the included stand is really easy. It's got four thumb screws, and once it's all put together, it's a really good-looking display. So even the backside here, very industrial-looking, all aluminum, and uh, it's really, really sturdy. The whole unit will swivel on the stand. It's got kind of rollers built into the bottom of the stand. It's not going to move on you if you don't want it to. You definitely have to force it a bit. But yeah, I do think it looks really nice. When it comes to I.O., we've got two full-size USB 3 ports, USB Type-B, two full-size HDMI 2.0 ports. We also have DisplayPort 1.4, a 3.5mm audio jack, and our USB Type-C. It's full-featured and supports 65-watt output. The first thing I wanted to show off here was my Samsung tablet connected over USB Type-C. I've got the Galaxy S9, and this does support DeX, but right now we're just in regular Android mode. We can uh, go right into our Note app, we can draw on the display itself with that pressure sensitive pen if you want to. Now I'm not an artist, but I can do a mean stick figure here and there. I know a lot of people aren't going to be connecting their Android tablet to this to draw on the uh, touch display because we've already got a touch display built into the tablet itself. This would be more akin to connecting this to your PC and using your favorite application to draw from there. Of course, we can use our monitor or our built-in touchscreen to control everything, but we can also use a mouse. I've got a single dongle plugged into one of the USB 3 ports on the monitor itself, and my favorite thing about the Samsung S line of devices, be it their phones and tablets, is Samsung DeX. Basically, this transforms everything into a desktop operating system, and it works out really well on these larger displays. And of course, touchscreen is working here with DeX also. So we could actually just kind of set this up on the side and use the full display for our operating system. We don't even need to mess around with the tablet. But if you wanted some type of mouse input, you could always use the tablet screen as the uh, touchpad itself. There is a function built into these tablets. Now, like I mentioned, this does have a built-in motorized 8 megapixel camera, and I've got this connected to my PC right now. All I needed to do is open up the camera app itself. As you can see, pops right up. It's 8 megapixels, so uh, quality is pretty decent. It's not like a top-of-the-line, uh, really expensive camera or anything like that, but it's much better than you'll find on a laptop. And it'll close itself once we shut the application down. And I did want to show you this running on the Samsung Galaxy S23. You could mirror the display if you want to, but we're in Samsung DeX mode. And just like the tablet, we've also got that built-in trackpad in case you don't want to plug in a keyboard or anything like that. If you're not an Android user, remember that the iPads do support video out. This is the iPad Pro. And the new iPhone 15 with USB Type-C also supports video out. It'll work with this. But I cannot get that stylus to work with the external monitor and the iPad no matter what I do. But with iPad OS, we've got Stage Manager. And this is really cool because uh, we can actually set this up to where we want our iPad located. And we can have a second display. So instead of mirroring the screen, we can bring up Stage Manager full screen right here. Mouse and keyboard will also work with the iPad Pro. And if I launch an app on the iPad itself, I can send it right over to the larger display. So we'll do Minecraft, just send it to the second display, and we've got a lot more room to work with here. 
And the final thing I wanted to show off here was Windows 11. I've got a mini PC plugged in with a single cable, USB Type-C. It's sending power to the mini PC, video back to the larger display. Touch input is automatically set up. And by the way, this mini PC is the Minus Forum EM680. So we've actually got eight cores, 16 threads. It's a pretty powerful little system here. Being able to plug it in with a single cable, have this big 27 inch 4K touch screen is really awesome. And again, this monitor does come with that pressure sensitive pen. Don't laugh at me, I just opened up paint. I wanted to just give you a little demo here. I don't know how to draw anything at all, so I wouldn't know how to use this with a real powerful app anyway. 4K HDR video on this quantum dot display looks great. I'm just using a YouTube demo that I usually test. Uh, this little mini PC can truck right through some 4K 60 playback. We've also got dual 5 watt stereo speakers. Not the best sounding system in the world, and a lot of monitors aren't, but it will get you by if you're not using an external speaker. I've also been using this quite a bit for uh, AAA PC gaming. I've got this connected to my main gaming rig right now. We've got Forza Motorsports running at 4K 60fps. It would be nice if this was like a 120Hz display, but we're kind of stuck at 60. Either way, it looks outstanding. I'm not sure how well it's coming across on video here. But I've always been a big fan of these Quantum Dot IPS displays. It's definitely not an OLED, but uh, yeah, this will get you by. It looks great. Overall, I personally think it's a really great monitor, especially if you're looking for one that has that touch functionality built in. USB Type-C allows you to connect your mobile devices, and not all Android devices are going to support video out, but if you've got the Samsung S-Line, you know, their higher-end line of their tablets or phones, then you'll be good to go with something like this. A lot of the new Lenovo phones and tablets also support what they're calling productivity mode, so uh, you can plug that directly in here and get kind of that big screen experience. But yeah, if you're looking for a 4K monitor with touch built in, this is one that I can definitely recommend. If you're interested in learning a little more, you can actually head over to Amazon or their official website. I'll leave both links down below. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.